Surrender your fires to the true air. Let him run death. Hey everybody, Games here. Welcome back to the channel. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you very much for 10,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing, man. Um, it's been about a week since I've been making videos every day, uh, since I've been back. I plan to stay back, so if you are new and you're hearing this, subscribe because I do upload every day. Um, for today's celebration, I thought we would bring out the myth, the man, the beast, the legend, Mr. Gunder Gale himself. If you guys don't know who he is, you best do some research. <laughs> no, it's basically a tank build. Um, this is level 125, and it is attached to Gale's Greatsword. Come in on me. You want to come in on me? You know you do. Oh, how did that miss? Watch this. Ready? Firebomb! And that missed. How the hell did that miss? <laughs> me don't think so. It's over. All right, good game, man. Let's jump to the build. I know you guys have seen it, but for those of you who haven't, let's jump to the build. Alrighty, if you guys end up enjoying the video today, don't forget to drop a like. It helps the channel grow. Um, uploading every day, I'm trying to grow the channel. YouTube needs the likes to be able to say, hey, this guy has a channel. Um, so check it out. We are level 125 at this bad boy. So Gunner Gale 125 is a beast. Vigor at 40, 10 for attunement, endurance at 40, 19 for vitality, strength at 40, dex is at 40, intelligence and faith, we just have 9 of each, and luck, we have 7. We have 1 attunement slot, doesn't matter, we're going to use it. So the whole, uh, you know, thought behind Gunner Gale is basically a tank build, with Gale's Greatsword, because it has the true combo three-piece. It has a lot of things you can do with it, but you want to get that R1 out. So we have Gale's Greatsword plus five. It's a hit for 525 dual-handed. That's at 40 and 40. I believe that's as high as you can get it to go. For the Fashion Souls, you know the man himself. We're Gunda, 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 all the way across the board. Hence, you know, Gunder, Gale. Gunder, Gale. Very nice. Rings. Life Ring plus three. Coin Ring plus three. Hevel's Ring plus three. Ring of Favor plus three. For me, these, you know, as long as we have enough poise, which we do, we have 44 poise down there, this is my favorite setup for a poise tank build right here, dude. You know, gives us crazy health. We already have 40 vigor. That's going to add to it. Chlorine ring. Make sure we can swing a lot. Havels because we're a tank. And then this is going to give us HP stems, maximum equipment mode. So you guys know the drill, man. You land an R1 with this build. You're going to get the L2 into the R1. Or you can also just faint fake and just throw out the L2. Jump over their attack. Boom. And then if you get real tricky with it, you can L2 backstep yourself. And kind of mess with your opponent that way so good stuff man let's keep this train going right on past 10,000 subscribers guys i'm extremely happy and extremely grateful let's head to the arena and see what we can do with our old uh the man the myth legend mr gundergale here let's do it so gundergale is someone i like to take out for special occasions you know it's a, it's just such a strong pvp build dude oh what do we got here we're gonna get our shibs on he has some uh shinchei oh we just fought him did we I don't think so! You dummy. Oh, we're taking that. We'll take all that bleed, shouldn't we? No! We're out of stamina. Oh, shit. And we got him. <laughs> Good game. Ooh, dude, that weapon's hard to get by. It's like that much. It's always a good idea to carry shivs on you in the PvP arena, guys, because you're going to fight tons of people using uh, Tears of Denial. Alright! Ooh, that's a long weapon. What do you got there? Oh, it's the Murky! That's one of my favorite staffs, dude. I love it, because I love dark shit. This guy, he wants, uh, he's going to lock onto us when we get kind of close. Backstep into it. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, you fucked up, boy. And now you're dead. Miss. Swing and a miss! This guy, uh, I was going to say, is he using a sword of sorts? <laughs> dark edge! The darkest edge! Backflip, and you've been, you know, if you die to Gundergale, don't feel bad about it, man. I wouldn't feel bad about it. Good games. So I have actually run into uh, some Gundergales out into the wild. I remember the first couple times it happened, I would just be like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, no. Especially if I wasn't playing him, dude, because I know what you could do with him, you know what I mean? 
Someone asked me the other day on uh, Discord what I thought the easiest build to use was, and I've made over probably a hundred different builds. So I just I told him Gunner Guy to be honest with you. Um, you know, once you have the setup, you land the R1. It's uh, you know, time time to go to dinner. This guy wants to get that true combo bullshit on us. We have to be careful coming in with the L1 on him because. Oh, look at that free damage, boys! But it barely did a fucking thing to him. He's a poised tank beast in front of us, guys. We gotta be careful. That's that roll catch. 272. We're not doing that much damage to him because he has those beast-ass armors on. Yeah, watch out for that. That's the pointy end. <laughs> he looks like Lap, but he does not fight like Lap. It's over. Good game, man. Took lap down. We had to take him down. All right. So one thing I wanted to do, but I didn't do, is put have a uh, bless cast this in my offhand. Um, my weight, I just couldn't make it happen, man. I could have subtracted something, maybe like you know 39 from endurance and gave one more point, and we've been good to go. But I was like, you know what? Screw it. We're not gonna need it. I'm not gonna need the health replenishment today. We're just gonna mow right through people on PVP. Not a spite. You never know. Oh, what do we got here? He's red, he's got an axe, it's purple. Ooh, yes! Praise the gods! Praise them! Alright, let's fight. I like that. That guy, man. That was a powerful pose. No. What? Is that the fucking deep battle axe? You gonna swing, boy? Bad time to come in. That was not a good time to come in for you. <laughs> Don't run away from me. I would run too, though, if I saw Gunner Gale coming at me. I'd be like, fuck him out of here! He's, like, being hunted right now. Look at him. <laughs> okay, I want him to think he can come in. Now it's over. <laughs> Holy shit. I haven't brought in Gunder Gale to the PvP arena in quite some time, man. Good game. That guy was just worried from the get-go. Yeah, I'm out of here. So, as you guys can see, as long as you're a poise, uh, you know, tank using Gales, you can, you can just smash people, dude. Oh, no. But you gotta you gotta be careful, you know, if someone has something that can poke you from a distance with like this guy right here, this is actually a pretty dangerous build this guy has. We're gonna back step, see if he comes in. Oh, that's a cool setup, dude. He has it looks like he has a thrall axe on his offhand. And Saint Biden. Oh, you fucked up! Just kidding, I fucked up. Nah, we're not getting hit. Not today! Not today! Come on, it's all yours, man. There were free hits for you right there. They were free hits. And you didn't take them. I think he realizes he's playing Gunder Gale. He's like, yo, is this him? Nice run. That was a nice run for my attack. And you fucked up, boy! I'm hitting my table as I'm uh, hitting this dude. Oh, we're close, guys. We're close! We gotta get these ships ready! Because once we take them down... You fucked up again. No, he didn't. He's gonna try to get in. Not gonna happen. Oh, he did. He caught us. He caught us. Oh! He backstabbed us! <laughs> oh, and the point down! Wow! And poop! But then the bow. <laughs> that guy's lucky he uh, bowed at the end of throwing shit all over us, or else he wouldn't have made it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. What is that? What are you using, my guy? It's a scythe. It's another scythe. Dude, scythes are real popular lately. Also, maybe because of Demon Souls remake, but there's uh, quite a bit of activity in Dark Souls lately. What is this all about? Oh, I like it. No one ever uses Karth of Flame because it's not one of the more powerful ones. But he does have the dually, uh, the dually axes here. The twin. Oh wait, is this this lap again? That's a very powerful setup. I don't know why he's not using the weapon art here. He just wants to go with the R twos. You got a R one into into the L two, man. I don't think this guy really knows what he's doing too much here. And if you do, I apologize, dude. I'm not trying to be a prick. It just. Maybe this guy's new. Are you new to the Souls universe? Because we're just going to give him a weapon art. And he's like, we're going to hop right over the swings. Ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Caught him. Caught that roll, baby. Woo. All right. Shit. Good game. I'll give you. Give me. 
Let me give you the uh, the manners you deserve, Ashen One. Good stuff. Also, I'm thinking I'm gonna do a uh, top Ultra Great Sword video sometime soon. So, any of you have any recommendations for what your top five uh, Ultra Great Swords are? Definitely leave them in the comments. Curious. I'm curious to know before I make it what you guys think about that uh, situation here. What do we got going? Oh, Ring Knight armor. Hey, guy. Dark Souls. His name is Actual Dark Souls. 3D Six Henry. It's a Ring Knight. I like that. This guy went the fucking distance, man. Get that cosplay. Except, what is he using? Is that the Ring Knight fucking sword? Oh, no! That's bad news for you, my friend. And now we're just gonna throw a shiv at you. Just kidding. <laughs> Good game. Oh, it's like, you know, the sword gets them basically to 1 HP, 5 HP, dude, and then it's over. Alright, everybody, we're going to make this the last fight of the video. Hopefully you've had a good time. If you're new, subscribe. I do upload every single day. Um, you know, give you a reason to come back. Let's see what we got here for our last fight. You can always tell if it loads longer than the other times. You're going to come here in the dragon place. Da -da -da -da. Up the stairs, Rocky. Who is it? Hey! It's new bucks. Newbie. Oh, is this guy we just fought? Was it? That same pose. I like that. Praise the sun. Oh, he doesn't even want to fight. Oh, I was going to chill, bro. And, you know, we were going to be friends. Do you even know? Do you even know? R2. Another R2. It's very powerful. You don't want to get acquainted. It's not something you want to do. Come on. Let me see your strong hand. Let me see your strong hand. Here, hit me. Hit me. Hit me! No, don't go for backstab. He was <laughs> He's gonna backstab us. Oh! That was good. That was good effort. Here. It was good effort. It was very good. Backstab! Oh, yeah! Oh, man. I'm in such a good mood today. I think it has something to do with hitting the 10,000 finally, man. I'm so excited. To just keep on working on the channel and just, you know, keep growing with you guys. Here we go. It's been a pleasure. We will see you guys on the next one. Enjoy your day. Peace out, everyone.